It's hard to say, Maybe, you know. I mean, I, I, I'm confident about collecting the, the imagery from anything. So I'm just going to go over to the snow. I'm just going to go over here and bring, bring this. Yeah, I can even leave it at that depth. That's perfect. So anybody come into my videos, that's how easy this is, okay? It's digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon. Now I'm going to do it from the trees on the side of the fucking road. Um, we can do this anywhere and you can see all the imagery. I can see it. Feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast over and over and over again all within this, okay? Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just tracking my trackers, following my followers. And, uh, uh, and that's about it. And so I'm just making some... Uh, collecting some EMNC, making some videos, shooting the shit while I'm doing it. So, back to the story I was just talking about before I started the new video. So, so the trackers and the followers, they got new vehicles, not new, but new to me, and some a couple new faces over the last couple weeks. Okay, so they, put, they brought back in that two-tone Subaru. That two-tone Subaru they brought back in, and now a girl was driving it. Uh, between 28 and 30. I have her on film, but it's only for a quick couple seconds that she's on film. But I got her in my eyes for a good four to five minutes. Okay, while she's turning around. So I just want to mention a few things about following these guys. So most likely I'm assuming that they got a bolo out on me. So it's a uh, what are they what is it? Bolo uh be on the lookout. So be on, they got to be on the lookout for me. They don't have an arrest warrant. They don't have anything on me. Otherwise, they would have already used it and they would have already done it. They were following me real heavy about three, four weeks ago. Once I went on foot and bike, they put a couple agents on foot and bike. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm gonna try to show you See that tra trail right there? That's the electric bike that they put on me. Now this dude's usually all masked up ever since I've been seeing him. I mean, full face mask, big clear face mask that's tinted on one side so you get a reflection, you can't even see his face. He might be the same dude that's driving in these cars. So where he parks his electric bike to go back and forth, I don't know, but now we have snow on the ground, so of course I can follow his tracks. And I could easily see that his tracks are ending right by my house, right by where my kids live and my buddy's house, where I'm staying. So I stay back and forth. I go back and forth because I'm watching these pricks. So it's easier to watch them from my buddy's house. So um, the day after the girl with the two-tone Subaru, okay, she, was, she did a bunch of weird shit. And the day of GPS, and everybody has GPS, especially uh, at her age, she definitely knows how to use GPS. So there's no need to get lost and act all dumbfounded and turning around in parking lots that you don't know about and acting strange and sus suspicious. It's not 20 years ago, right? So I know that when people do weird shit, I should stop my bike, turn around, and look and see what the hell they're up to. And I did with her, but when I saw it was a girl, female, um, I, I thought to myself real quick and I said, ah, probably not because most of the agents are men. They don't put too many females on the job. But I did have, um, uh, four or five years ago, I had a girl that came to me from you, uh, not from YouTube, but I know she came from YouTube, but she, uh, would not introduce herself through YouTube. She wanted to do it another way. So she did. And it was another, uh, website or whatever, you know, I won't mention its name. So... Yeah, I will. Fuck it. So I put an ad on Craigslist for somebody to help me with digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon. I posted that on my YouTube videos that I was doing that. Sure enough, I get, I get uh, her call and everything like that. And I start working with her. She claims like she don't know anything about what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about when, when I'm talking about the videos that I'm making and who I'm calling out. But yet... At the same time, minutes later, hours later, sometimes days later, 
we'd be talking about the same subject and she knows everything about the person, right? She, she lets out, lets slip here and there that she knows about these people. So I was trying to figure out who is she working for, what agency, they're all connected. YouTube, Google, Twitter. Uh, you might even think that these people are enemies, but they're not. They all work together. Biden, Trump, Hillary, they're all together, okay? They're, 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 they might be working as divided, but they're doing it as a joint effort to take away our false freedoms. We, we believed that we were free for all these years. And we never have been free. We've never been free. It was all bullshit. And they found different methods that they wanted to try. This one was called capitalism to convince people that they were free. And uh, no, uh, quite not. And, and it's our own fault. I don't get angry or pissed off anymore about the government doing what they do because we all have control over it. We could all wake up at any time and look at reality for what it is and see things for what they are and we as the masses choose not to so you know 7.8 billion people I'm not going to be able to get anywhere i'm just one person and these people own the internet they own the newspapers they own the news they own all television casting you know you name it um so someone like myself there has to be others out there is what i'm always thinking there have to be others out there uh, whether there is, I don't, I don't want to call myself clever, but or, or maybe they have no interest in being involved and they're just saying, fuck it, I got 20, 30, 40 years left and I'll be dead anyways and then it'll be in the hands of my children or whatever, you know. And they say it's not worth uh, giving up your last 30, life, 30 years of life for this fight that nobody else even is paying attention to. Um, <clears throat> so I'm following this trail anyway back to see where he came from or went to and I believe it's came from judging by the direction of the snow being thrown behind his uh, behind his trail you see the trail that I'm following I'll put the camera back over here so we'll have something to look at as I'm talking all right, um, so, so four or five years ago, that girl was an agent. Uh, her boyfriend used to meet, I, I believe what she was doing was just dropping her boyfriend off somewhere in the area of wherever her and I were gonna meet because he would always be around, the same dude would always be around, uh, skinny, Puerto Rican looking, I think he was Spanish, Latino, some kind. I don't know what his exact nationality was. Um, and I was wearing different, what they call disguises. In other words, just dressed differently, trying to present himself as some a new face. Uh, really, he was not. And um, it was the same guy. So that's most likely what she did, is she just dropped him off somewhere in the area so we're gonna be right there in that park digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon usually was what we were up to so so I played into the bullshit stories for a while and yeah let me see about this guy um, So now here comes another girl. Now there might have been other women that I might have missed. There might have been other men that I missed. I don't think that I catch all of them. The only reason I even uh, started even looking again lately is because it's been so, for the last couple months now, I think it's been about six, seven weeks now, maybe more, that it's been so drastic. I mean, they were trying to set me up on something. I know I, I, I failed them on one thing they were trying to set me up on. They were going to try to set me up on transporting marijuana. So I know that I got them on that. I now lock the vehicle up now at night. I used to never lock my car. I've, for years, for 
I've never locked my car. I, I won't even say 20 years, ever. I've never had a car. I don't care what the neighborhood was. Even when I lived in Holyoke and uh, other places, city, big city, it didn't matter. I never owned the car that was worth stealing anyway, and there's never anything in it worth stealing. So I was never worried about theft. Never even gave a second thought to somebody putting something in my car. I never thought about that. So when I found that just a few weeks ago, I was like, oh, that was so lucky. I'm so glad I was smart enough to fucking see these pricks because that's all that would have taken was for me to, they were waiting. They, they, they had local, state, and the federal agencies were all over me, but it was too late. I was already out of the car. I was not in the vehicle anymore because I saw them watching me everywhere. So I said, I better see what the hell's going on. So I went on foot and on the bike because it's easier to track them that way. It's hard to track people when you're in a vehicle. You're driving by someplace, you see them. By the time you turn around and get back, they're already gone. And then also, you get into these high, high speed pursuits that they wanna get into. You know, like the guy in the truck that day that I got on video, he took it right, right the fuck off as soon as he could get away. He thought I was gonna chase them. I'm not gonna chase them. Now, to track them and follow them when they don't know that I'm following them, that's another story. But to get eye contact with them and then chase them, they're just gonna make a phone call and they're gonna nail me on something. That's why they got the bolo out. And there's no question in my mind that there's a bolo out on me. Um, so what that means is, again, all laws and rules only for the fucking slaves. The masters, they don't have to deal with this shit, the fucking slave masters, or the programmers even, for that matter. As long as they play along with the fake ass system, as long as they go along with all the lies, then they can get away with it. So, back to the girl. So the girl in the two-tone Subaru, she's, I, I probably won't see her again now for a while. If I do, she won't, she'll be disguised. And she won't be in that Subaru, I doubt it. I doubt they'll use that Subaru anymore now. And I only have her on video for a couple seconds. But that's okay, that's all it takes. So, so I know they're in my YouTube channel. They own the YouTube channel. I don't, even though my name's on it, I don't own it. They go in and delete videos, they do whatever they want. They can add shit, subtract shit, they can do whatever they want. Then also, they've got I was watching the number of subscribers. I just went on this morning on the Michael Oziak channel. So, I was mentioning before, 125 subscribers I was up to. And I was saying to everybody, everybody meaning the 12 real subscribers that I have, that these people are robots and agents. They're not subscribers. If they were, they would be doing videos just like I'm doing. If they were really interested, then I would know by the words that they speak in their, in their uh, messages to me, right? So that I know when they're full of shit. So, um... So anyways, uh, so yeah, you know who they are, and then you'll start seeing them come around. And I used to call them, back in the day, I called them street chills. Because people that were on YouTube were all of a sudden showing up in my day-to-day -day life. Pretending that they were someone else, but either way, it was pretty cool to watch. And um, that girl was one of them. So I just went on my YouTube channel, on Michael Oziak YouTube channel, not the, not this one, not the Miguel Airy one, and I noticed that the uh, I'm back down to 120 subscribers from 125. Okay, now at least 80, 90 of those subscribers 
are um, agents and robots. Because each agent can run 10, 15 different, uh, you know, false accounts, you know, somewhere around there. They don't, they don't necessarily mean to be 80 different people wasting their time. It's just, you know, a couple people, two or three of them, running a shitload of accounts. And they run the accounts, they subscribe to the channel. And then they fuck with you. They try to call you out, pull you out, get you to do things that uh, might not be, that might be wrong, or try to get you to say something stupid or dangerous in some way that they can nail you on, that kind of thing, you know? Okay, so, so two nights after the Subaru, what sucks is I did this whole video and explained all this before, and then the video gets deleted. It'll probably happen again today. We'll see what happens. I did not see the white SUV when I crossed over that street. I've been watching for it because it's like every other day when I cross over that trail, there's that white SUV with the all tinted windows. I got them on video. Uh, anyways, um, so the little red pickup truck. It looks like a little red Chevy S10, but it would be an older S10 because it's boxy. I don't know what the exact make is on it, but I don't. I also don't have it on film other than the, the house cameras. I know the house cameras picked them up, but again, I don't want to waste my fucking time. I don't want to go back and forth. Nah, fuck it. I spotted them. So what I did was I, when I seen them go by the first time, I saw them in the camera go by. So, and he almost stopped in front of the house. He did a, a near stop, a real slow for five seconds and then almost stopped and then continues down the road. So that made me suspicious. I seen him in the camera. So I got ready, went outside and I waited behind a tree. I seen him turning around down at the end of the street. That was, that was kind of strange in itself too. Red truck, doesn't belong in the neighborhood, never seen him before, uh, in my neighborhood at least anyway. And, um, so I knew to, to go out and check him out. So I waited behind a tree. He came back by. He did another near near stop right in front of the house, in front of my kid's house. And, my, and the kids were not home either. And uh, so I said, okay, let's see what the fuck's going on. So my phone was on though too. So they have my phones, my phones are tracked, my cell phone's tracked, internet is tracked, everything's being tracked and, and everything right now. So they. They have uh, location devices and they can make sure that I am where they think I am and that kind of shit. So I, uh, <coughs> so anyways, so I started stepping out from behind the bushes. Once I started stepping out from behind the bushes, he spotted me, and then he started continuing on. But by that time, I was right by his front fender. So it was dark out, so I didn't get a good look at his face, but I seen the image, and he doesn't know that. He'll know when he watches these videos. He'll know that I didn't see his face all that well. But it doesn't really matter, because like I said, I got him on camera. And it was nighttime, but the cameras are infrared camera, so doesn't matter I still get his plate number and if I wanted to but I'm, I'm not gonna bother um, I'm not gonna bother because there's a lot of shit to go through for nothing you know I don't get nothing out of it if I go back over this way I guess So anyways, just going to uh, talk a little bit about that shit. That's all. Just throw it out there as I'm doing these videos. Let them know. Let the agents know because they are watching the videos uh, on both channels. They might have been the ones who just dropped off of the Michael Ozier channel, but how do I know? You know, their names don't come up on my... Uh, 
and my user accounts, whatever they call it, your subscribers. A matter of fact, out of 125 subscribers that I did have, only about 12 of them even show up. The rest of them are all private subscribers. They all, none of them show through as, as even their real channel. Not even as their fake channels, right? So the only way I know who anybody is is if they come in and make a comment or something. And then you can base everything on the comments. You say, okay, well, what were their comments? And if they come in and say something like, uh, wow, that's so beautiful, or something like that, like I, I believe one of the agents was just saying a while back, then I, I investigate it. I think about it a little bit. I may even give them something to work with so that I can call them out. And then you give them a little something to work with, and if they don't work with it, then you get a better idea, and you say, okay, come on now, come on. Somebody that's suffering with a fucking terrible disease, and here I am helping them and showing them what the disease actually is and how to cure it and how to work with it and, uh, and not be afraid of it, right? So, and then all of a sudden, nothing, you know, they go away. They're not, they're not uh, reposting the video themselves. They're not um, sharing the video themselves that I make for them and that kind of thing. Then it makes you suspicious and you say, oh, okay. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong with this picture because if that was somebody who was really in need of help and they really felt that they were sick and going through this, then... Um, then they would do something about it. Even if they didn't, even if they didn't believe or see or understand what it is I was showing them, they would still try to share it with others because others might. Others might get it. Others might understand it. So, you know. So I don't have to be a hundred percent sure. I just have to be pretty sure. That's all. Because, because what, what good does it do to waste my time to 100% proving something to myself, right? I mean, it's fucking stupid. And so to, to do that for other people too and try to prove things to others also is stupid. Oh, is that my guy? Oh, I think I just seen my guy. That's so funny. Let's see if it's him. Oh, I haven't seen this van in a little while. He just pulled the heat in. See, here's the thing for you agents. I'm going to talk to the agents for a second, everybody. You know, I hate to rank you guys out because then it just gets you more pissed off at me. But, I mean, you guys really suck. You suck for anybody that's got their eyes open, who looks around, who sees things for what they are. Uh, that's, that's the only thing. To the average person, yeah, you guys might be great investigators and uh, very uh, stealth. But you're not very fucking stealthy when it comes to me. Okay, this van that I'm going to look at right now, if it's the same van, this is the cleaning van. And I know who will be driving it, too. I know the face that will be driving it. I haven't seen it for a while. But I could have swore. I just seen it go behind that building over there. And we're going to go find out. get to it, I'll tell you what it's going to say on the sides. Yep. It's going to say uh, cleaning. They do uh, chimney cleaning and that kind of thing. Where the hell is he? I just seen him come behind this building. Now he's not here, so he might have went out the other side, or, oh, it's not him. Oh, is it? No, it's not him. No, it's somebody else. Somebody in Suns. Oh, no, well. <coughs> no, it's not him. That happens a lot.
But again, that's the nice thing about being on foot. Is that I'm able to get them all, you know? If not with my camera, I'm at least able to get them in other ways. I mean, we got this dude here who's acting weird and strange and suspicious. And now he's sitting here with his flashes. He was sitting at the other place for a couple minutes. Let's see. Yeah. This guy. This guy right here. Yeah, that gray truck. Gray Ram truck. Taking a left from the right lane. Okay. So, whenever I come off that trail and they're following me, they'll do weird shit like that. And it's fairly easy to see. So I'll just check him out. I'll see if I see the truck again. I got his face pretty good in my eyes. I don't know about the other one, but. Um, so he was parked over there at that exit as I was talking. And he was just sitting there at the exit. Not moving anywhere, not going anywhere. Just sitting there. Doesn't make any fucking sense. You're exiting the place, so. But you know, hey could be a reason then I go look for the van behind those buildings and then when I come out he's right here at this exit with his flashers on pulled over again blocking the road not that there's a lot of traffic or anything but it just seems fucking strange he watches me go in and circle the parking lot in there I come out instead of going right into the store which is normally what I do I seen the truck sitting there, so I said, fuck it, let's ride up and see what he said. So I get right up to his truck, he look him in his eyes, he nods at me, and then drives away. And then takes off, and then when he sees the camera, he's trying to take off even faster than he normally would, as he just seen. Uh, you know, he, he had plenty of time, he was no rush to wait here for five fucking minutes at the exit, right? And and I have seen a dark gray truck that I never got a plate number off of. I don't, I don't even think I even got it just now. I don't even think I got the plate number. But I, I have seen uh, a gray truck stalking me a couple times. And it's hard because, you know, just like all the vehicles, really, they're standard looking vehicles and everybody owns, there's a million of them out there, you know. So until you get a plate number or you can get a look at the face, which I just did now, I'm trying to remember if I saw that face anywhere else ever before. But I'm, I'm almost, uh, I'm like 90-something percent sure that, that he was an agent, that dude right there. I mean, the way that he was waiting at the other spot and everything like that. And I thought, it's funny too, because I was really just thought that van, when I seen the van turn in over there, I'm always waiting for an agent to be down here at the bottom of the hill when I come off this main trail. Uh, because there just always is. If, if it's not the guy in the white car with the tinted glass and the white SUV there, if it's not him, he's usually at the middle road that I cross over. He's usually there. Then when I get off over here, uh, it could be a number of any other vehicles that have been following me around everywhere, you know? So, uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of fucking sucks. Because you're just waiting to see what it is they're going to fucking try to get on me, you know? What do they, what do they got set up? You know, I, I made it through a couple of their setups already. But that doesn't mean they didn't have other ones that I don't know about yet or I don't see yet. Uh, you know, I try to be careful about what I say online, too. Because they could say hate speech or uh, something like that. Something of that nature, you know? Um... And then also from them having the local and the states uh, also watching every fucking move I make. You can't fucking go do anything. You can't go anywhere without being followed, watched, and, and looked at. So it kind of sucks. Uh, and I, I want to say as I'm talking about this, these assholes is that, you know, Elon Musk buying Twitter and all that gay shit and everything. Like that. I mean, she's just as much involved in it all as, as all the others, you know. 
Elon Musk is a plant, the same way that Bill Gates is a plant. There are certain plants that we have had throughout hundreds of years that I can count them up. Yeah, you can go all the way back to Nikolai Tesla, it was a plant. Uh, presidents over the years were all plants. Uh, presidents and leaders of nations all over this earth were all plants. They're put in place by the, 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 the rulers, the leaders, the rulers, I, I don't know what to call them, uh, the hidden rulers, you know. So yeah, that was funny to see the dude in the gray truck. So now that's another vehicle. So now I know I've seen that gray truck several times. The little red truck that I was talking about, the little red pickup, it might have been a Dodge or something like that because it's too square to be a, a, a 90s to 2000s S10 or anything like that. It would have to be a, a restored older S10 that was restored or it because it was too square. And I also did not, I don't believe I got a plate number on that. No, I didn't. And then I'm not getting any phone calls anymore because I changed my phone number and my um, and my phone. But there's so they're too smart to call it now. They don't want to keep, but they're still calling my kids' phones all the time. So they're tracking my phone, they're tracking my children's phones, and all this kind of shit. You know, there's there's they suck. They really they suck big dick. It's like a fucking game to them, you know? It's just, it's just a big fucking game. And then uh, one of the old employers that I used to work for 12 years ago or whatever, he's in on this as well. He, he's been involved on this right from the get-go, um, even before the YouTube channel, uh, all the way back to the Facebook channel and stuff like that. He was already upset with me trying to get me on something he thinks he's got me on something maybe he feels i wronged him somewhere or whatever i don't feel so maybe i'm an arrogant fucking asshole or whatever and uh and, and that's why i feel that way maybe um uh but no nah, fuck him man they, they're they're all fucking scum and he's involved in on it too he, the employers uh, a lot of them especially the multi-millionaires and the multi-billionaires like he is and stuff they're just as fucking far up these asses of the feds as anybody, man. They're all part of it. They're all part of the same fucking game. Anyway. What else was I going to talk about before I got distracted? I'm glad I spotted him. I'm glad I spotted him. I, I, I'm glad that I thought the fucking van uh, was the van I was looking for because now I got to get right up on that truck like that and that's good So I got something out of it at least anyway, you know And that's you know, that's the nice thing about being on foot like I say because there's so much easier to get And I gotta say, you know, some of these agents, they really suck. I mean, you can't, at least not with me, you can't. You can't go around somebody and be circling around them and think that they're not going to get suspicious of what you're doing surrounding them, you know? And and these, these guys are really bad at that. What you have to do is you have to just drive by. That's it, that's all you can do, you, you could you drive by. Um, now, it might have been a lot easier if I'm driving in a car, if I'm in a vehicle, and I'm not on foot or I'm not on the bike, that's okay, well, maybe it's a little easier then. And maybe they're not used to people going on to foot in order to track them back. Okay, so the guy with the red truck the other night. So, uh, so, I, so I got right up to his vehicle, and I was right at his fender when he drove by. Now, I was on my cell phone at the time, and I did not have a camera in my hand, but like I said, I got the house cameras. If I really was worried about it, I could go get them off the house cameras. But why bother? He knows I spotted the truck. I had, I was looking right at him as he was looking at me, even though it was tinted glass, I could see his face was looking right at me. Um, so he's not gonna show that truck around again any, anymore. And that truck I haven't, that little red truck I have seen before in the past, but not where I seen it that night. 
I seen it somewhere else following me and I got suspicious of it and I said, that truck doesn't belong around here. It was in the same town, but a different neighborhood of the town. And I was like, I don't know that truck and he's acting a little bit weird and whatever. Just like that gray truck just did. Now, if that gray truck would have been, if, he, if that gray truck would have stayed over there at that, um, uh, at that exit for five minutes, right? That would have caused me to be a little bit suspicious. But not that suspicious, because I drove right by the fucker. I drove right by him, right, when I was heading to go look for that van. So if he would have just pulled out of there and left, it would have been all set. But he had to see what I was up to. So he seen me drive, riding the bike over in, in behind that building to look for the van way over there. And he sees me going behind the building as I'm looking for the van. And he pulls over and puts his flashes on because he doesn't want to miss what it is I'm doing. So... <laughs> So it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> then I coincidentally pull back out of the lot. I see him, and I'm like, what the fuck's he doing? You know? What's this thing got left for minutes? 36. 